Well, I recorded a video on my MacBook on December 26th, and I've been trying to get it online for like the past week and a half, but it just won't work. Like I tried uploading it last night, and I guess the file's just so big that it takes forever. So, there's a weird noise in here, I don't know what's going on. But, um, so I had an okay Christmas. I got drunk at Steve's family's house, and that's always fun. Steve is my boyfriend, by the way, if any of you don't know that. Um, so yeah. I went to Steve's aunt's house, and it was horrible because the weather was horrible, and she lives in Aurora, and we live in Rockford, Illinois, and so it was like a long ways away. It took forever. And besides that, Steve gets really cranky if he doesn't know exactly where he's going. And so he got all pissed off that I was telling, I told him the wrong directions, which I didn't. The directions that we had just wasn't the way that his family went. And I used the exact reverse route that I looked up to get back home. And it worked just fine. So I don't know what was wrong, but anyway. Um, New Year's kind of sucked. I was sitting at home with Steve, and that was it, pretty much. It was kind of lame. Um, my friend Jordan invited me to go over to her friend Josh's house. Josh is a straight boy who's dating a straight girl named Angela, who, and they're, well, I don't know about Josh, but Angela's a virgin. And I thought I freaked Josh out, because he has a very, like, if you look at my nose, like this. My nose is very large. It's like, a, if any of you are familiar with, like, Egyptian history, you probably know who King Ramsay is. And King Ramsay has this type of nose with a little bump here. Um, and I love noses like that. Um, I have one of those noses. I think Alex does. I, I don't really remember. I'm kind of spacey right now. But Alex, your nose is kind of like mine, and I love it. I love noses like mine. Um, but, like, Josh has this enormous nose. Not enormous as in it looks gross, but enormous as in it's very powerful, like a powerful nose. And you probably think I'm really weird saying that. But if you look at King Ramsay, photos of King Ramsay, like, statues or whatever, his nose is very large and very powerful looking. And that's how Josh's nose looks. And I thought I freaked out Josh by saying that he had a powerful nose and that I wanted to take pictures of it. I was drunk at the time, so um, that kind of explains why I was so odd. But... Um, he does have a very nice nose, and I thought I freaked him out, but he actually thought I was a lot of fun, and he invited me to his New Year's party, which was totally unexpected. Like, I'm not used to people inviting me places. Like, I think I'm a loser, and I think other people think I'm a loser, because I am. And so I don't know, but that was... I wish I was there, because that would have been a whole lot more fun. I would have gotten drunk, but the same time the roads were kind of bad and I didn't want to get hit by a drunk person. Um, I don't know. New Year's kind of sucked, but now it's the second and I'm back at work. I got paid for the 31st of December and the 1st yesterday, even though I wasn't here, so that's nice. That's the nice part about working for a school is I get paid for holidays. Um, nice. And another nice thing is that I'm here doing nothing because my boss found hours for me, so I didn't have to find another job and freak out because I wouldn't have been able to find one even if I was looking every day. <sighs> um, the one place that does want to hire me though, Cannoli Cafe, they're opening up a new, uh, a new store in Cherryville Mall. If anyone is familiar with Rockford, Illinois, Cherryville Mall is like a pretty big mall. It's two stories and there's lots and lots of stores. No really good ones, but there are lots of stores in there. And so Cannoli Cafe was going to open up a new store in this new addition to the mall. 
and so they're looking to hire, but they're being real lazy asses about it. Like, the owner wants to do, hand pick all his new hires, but he's so busy managing his, uh, his cafe during the holiday season, which is the busiest season for anywhere, pretty much. Um, and so he's decided that he's going to hold off hiring until after the new year. Well, you know, the whole reason I was looking for a job is because I need a job over Christmas break. And yeah, there is, I am still available pretty much until the 14th, but after that, I'll only be available like Friday through Sunday. <clears throat> and that's pretty ridiculous. So I don't know what's going on with that. I called like for the fifth time in a row. And someone finally answered me and let me know that they weren't hiring until after the new year. Because before, all I heard was, well, the owner's out right now, or he's making gelato, because it's an Italian cafe. Um, and I looked up what gelato was, and it's pretty, not really that interesting, but it's nice. It's made of high-quality ingredients, and... I don't know, look it up on Wikipedia if you're curious, because I really don't have it in front of me right now, but it was interesting. I learned di the difference between frozen custard, ice cream, and gelato, and they're all very good, except uh, frozen custard has egg yolk in it, which kind of disgusted me, but at the same time, if it's not like a real egg yolk on a plate, I'm okay with that. I don't like eggs. Eggs kind of gross me out. I don't want to eat an unfertilized embryo. Honestly, I don't. Oh, I was watching um, the National Geographic Channel, which is very, very interesting. I love Discovery Channel, History Channel, National Geographic, Travel Channel. They all have really interesting shows. Um, National Geographic had this um, show about, like, uh, it's called Taboo, and they did this taboo thing about um about like foods like delicacies actually and there's this delicacy in india known as cootie pie um c-u-d-a-p-i a p-a-i uh, -I, I think cootie pie and it's it sounds like a nice interesting name and it sounds good until you learn what it is cootie pie is indian and it is goat fetus. And it is taboo even in India. The Anglo Indians um, find this to be a delicacy. Anglo Indians are different than regular Indians because they have Anglo Saxon blood in them. Meaning, like, if from when the British and the Spanish and blah blah blah, all those Anglo uh, Anglican countries were colonizing in India. Um, their offspring were known as Anglo-Indians. And so they developed this delicacy. I don't know who would have thought of goat fetus as a delicacy, but apparently it's really tender. And they chop it all up and blah, 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 and it's really hard to get and it's really taboo and the butchers don't even like to do it. Like the butcher hand delivered this goat fetus in a garbage bag. <laughs> a goat fetus in a garbage bag to this woman who was preparing cootie pie for her and some of her friends. And a couple of her friends didn't like it, but most of them did. And honestly, I would freak out if I found out that I was eating goat fetus. Pretty damn gross. In my mind. It's full of protein, I'm sure. And other really awesome nutrients, but I wouldn't want to eat a goat fetus. Uh, this is getting along, so I'm going to do another one, okay?